SB repping that crazy. You know what it is. I'm back again. Uh, this is gonna be a reaction to Young and Ace and Folio's beef, which apparently is one of the most craziest beefs like in the hip hop scene. And yeah, let's get this shit started. Apparently, it's like savage and shit. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna react to the doc, like this doco thing. And then after we'll react to the react like the tracks that they dropped dissing each other. So yeah, let's get this shit started. Let's get it. Let's go. This is be my room right here. One boy shot my house up. I was right here on the bed. Me and my little brother Quan Quan. And shot my house up from right here. This is my mama's here right here. They shot my mama's house. Up. They shot this part right here. My mama was in the room. They shot that bitch up. My whole my house always got shot. They always spent on my shit. But then we doubling them back though for real. Come here though. The ATK gang. Investigators say this organization is connected to a string of murders in Jacksonville. There's many names for ATK. Ace's Top Killers is one. Nine people, you know, potentially responsible for the 15 murders that we know of, and and who knows what else. The day we're shooting scenes for um, when I see you, who this I is smoke. Fuck. Uh -huh. Who this smoke came out of nowhere, went crazy, kind of made it more mainstream to where people who don't even know y'all, they were tapped into it. Did you make them do that? I don't know how I took it too far when they made a song for speaker. Once the dead get involved, it's already too far. Hi, what is up, everybody? For the past few months, the most talked about song on social media is the Huai Smoke video from Young and Ace. It exposed the mainstream to the deadliest rap feud that's been going on for years, and it's happening in Jacksonville, Florida. Rappers from there are on a completely different wave, hiding the clues to revenge killings inside their music videos, taking the beats from classic pop songs, and trying to rap the most demonic this shit is a over it. Young and Ace and his crew remixed the classic Vanessa Carlton song, A Thousand Miles, and flipped it. Filming at a plush golf course, smoking cigars, all while dancing to lyrics that celebrate the deaths of their rival crew, led this by the rapper Fulio out of North Jacksonville. Who I Smoke went viral, hitting 16 million views in one month and getting reactions from all the biggest influencers online. Who I Smoke. The bro, that song's no, fucked, no, bro. No, it didn't rust. Come get this nigga before you play with your top. This is one of the most savage videos I've seen. Just, you know why? They show one gun in the video, but the way they seem to be just nonchalantly have like it's enjoy so life while clowning the niggas who died. So Fulio had to retaliate in a darker, right. more ominous way. Re Question: Do you want me to react to who I smoke now, and then we move on? That's the question. Do y'all want me to react to who I smoke, and then I react to when I see you now, like right now? Let me know. If you want me to, I'll do it right now. It's fucked up. I've heard bits and pieces of it, and I still reckon it's one of the most fucked up songs I've heard. What do you reckon, Tarkin? Do you reckon I should react? <laughs> or should I do it after? That's the question. Should I do it after or should I do it now? That's the question that I got for y'all. Because it's fucked. It's one of the most fucked up songs I've heard. Both of these songs that they're talking about, they're probably two of the best diss tracks I've ever heard in my life. So, <laughs> that says a lot. But yeah, let me know. I I'm gonna I'm wait for someone to answer. Wait, Tarkin, let me know. Yeah, bro, do it. The song is fucked. I'll do it now. Go back to All right, yeah, yeah. Bet, 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 bet. All right, yo. <laughs> All right, let's get this shit. Now let's keep on going with this video. Remixing a classic Fantasia song and in the music video printing out a big poster of two of Ace's friends and his blood brother who died by Ace's side in a drive-by shooting outside a Japanese steakhouse. 
Ace was the only one in the car who survived. Since then, both Fulio's crew and Young and Ace's crew released this song after this song towards each other, leaving hidden messages in the music videos. Where is Corbin Johnson? The 18-year-old's parents say they dropped him off last week at a job interview and they never saw him again. He left his house Wednesday night. Here's a picture of him behind us. And there's little in the way of clues as to where he might be. Corbin ass was lost until they found him in that bag. Oh. Corbin Johnson was last seen alive in July of last year. Then last Friday, a man discovered the, the victim's skeletal remains. But what makes this situation real cold is some of the folks beefing are literal cousins. Blood relatives caught up on opposite ends. Bro, blood relatives. Of the feud. Yeah, That's no, crazy. Your cousin, nigga, fuck your cousin, That's your real cousin? That nigga cousin. I don't give a my cousin. Now, we're getting into all this, but first, I got my guy Millie's with Jim Jones for the song of the day today. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No disrespect to Jim Jones, but fuck that. In terms of land size, that's not in Alaska, and that's Jacksonville, Florida. Florida's always had a huge presence in rap music, especially in the last two decades. But its biggest city, Jacksonville, never really got will, any mainstream success it. until now. And that's all because of these viral diss records between two crews. Young and Ace is the face of ATK Gang, which mostly occupies the west side of Jacksonville. His rival, Fulio, is the face of KTA, alias Kill Them All, which is an alliance between two groups, Fulio's gang from the north and Young and Reckless, a crew from the south side. What's worse about this beef is the amount of mutual friends both camps had at one point in time. Ace and Fulio were never exactly close, but they did have mutual friends such as Queso, who right now is locked up with his own father, charged for two murders, including the killing of Fulio's blood brother, <coughs> Bibby. After Bibby's murder, Queso would notoriously walk around wearing Bibby jerseys, taking mm. photos like it was a trophy. He even released an album in 2019, putting images of his dead- Look at this shit. This shit's- Fuck. This shit's fuck. That's an album cover. Bro, that's like... Stops <sighs> as the cover, like a Mount Rushmore of fallen rivals. Jacksonville Police, or JSO, are notorious for not cracking cases. In fact, 70% of murders in the city go unsolved. So folks online came up with the catch- Yo, what? Look at the statistic of that. Bro, 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 Look at the statistic of that. Look at this shit. A hundred, that's over a hundred and ten. In 2017, over a hundred and ten deaths were unsolved. And these cunts are bragging about it and still not getting in trouble? How's that work? And then look at that. So that's like 105, right? Yeah, so that's like 105 in 2018. 2019 so far there's been 27 like around 27 or more deaths i wonder how many of them are there now so folks online came up with the catchphrase jso loves queso for the simple fact that he telegraphs what he's doing on social media you see how i'm glad it come in boy come in boy all of Queso's songs have millions of views on YouTube, and he was actually very close with King Von. The two had music together. Queso even appeared in that infamous video where Quando Rondo and Von were joking around with each other back when they were on good terms. Dirty ass, <laughs> we're gonna do his Queso next. Queso was there as well. But back in Jacksonville, Queso had a well known reputation for demonic antics. He famously tried to organize a team deathmatch in real life with his own cousins, who repped the rival gang, KTA. What's up, where you at? Come on, I do a uh, team deathmatch. Right now? Yeah, I'll two words us too. Look at my cousin. Ladies, we looking like? My cousin don't want to talk. He's trying to act all. <laughs> He's trying to act all. Oh, what? They got the black hoodies on. One of the cousins on that live was named Lil Nine. A month after that back and forth, Lil Nine was leaving a gas station when his car was ambushed. Shot 12 times from a rifle inside another car, sending him crashing into a rental wheel tire shop, where Lil Nine was pronounced dead at the- Bro, these motherfuckers are killing family. They're killing family, bro. They're killing blood relatives. Damn, they really do say fuck. Fucking water's thicker than blood, clearly. What the fuck? The scene. While folks at the tire store were trying to revive him, Lil Nine's friend who was in the crash with him was frantically walking around filming inside the store. Fuck niggas, play. Play. All right, bro. 
I want to say something about this. You motherfuckers, if you're ever out anywhere, this is to everyone, like not just in Australia, in general. If you have ops, post your shit when you're gone. Like, do this type of shit when you're gone, not when you're currently still there. Let me take a guess. This kind dies? Has to. Ha I assume he gets shot. Right? Has to be. Niggas play. You fucking play, man. Of course, K. <coughs> Bro, he showed. He showed his homie getting fucking. Oh my god. It was in god. the crash like with CPR. him. He was frantically walking around filming inside the store. You fuck niggas play. play. Bro, get the fuck off your phone. What the fuck? Who records this shit? Hey. <laughs> fuck niggas play. You fucking play, man. Of course, Queso responded with a video of his own, laughing. Get out! <laughs> Get out! <laughs> then Queso's blood brother, also Lil Nine's cousin, would recreate Lil Nine's death video from the tire shop. Y'all fucking niggas play. Y'all fucking niggas play. Y'all fucking niggas play. Sixty days later, Queso dropped a music video, and in it, we see him putting a photo of his own deceased cousin, Lil Nine, in the microwave. See, the crazy part is, everybody that's beefing at one point in time was cool. Queso met Young and Ace in the ninth grade; they've been friends ever since. But the rival Fulio likes to remind Queso that back in 2015, he was hanging with them, and even had the nickname Six Block Queso for his affiliation with Fulio's gang, Six Block. Damn. Even Young and Ace admits he was a fan of Fulio's music before their beef really escalated. But a series of unfortunate events would draw lines in the sand. Neutrals had to pick sides quickly. At a block party in South Jacksonville, it's in YNR territory. Young and Reckless, a crew led by YNR Mookie and his lieutenant Slugga T. Ace and his gang show up to the party and get into an argument with YNR's leader, Mookie. Shots were fired and a bullet grazed Mookie's skin, with his lieutenant Slugga T shooting back. But Ace and his crew manage to escape the party, leaving Young and Reckless and Ace's crew on bad terms. On top of that, YNR's leader Mookie was already friends with Fulio's cousin. This made it easy for YNR and Fulio's gang to click up creating an alliance under the name KTA, or Kill Them All, with one enemy in common, Young and Ace and ATK. The trends in Jacksonville at the time were not good. It was marking an increase in the murder rate year on year. In 2017, Ace would drop the song Go To War. This was an open invitation to anyone opposing ATK to retaliate. Not long after, Ace's home was shot up, but the tipping point was soon to come. A few months later- No fucking shit? It was an open invitation. What? What did he expect? <laughs> He's like, yo, I'm ready for war. Shit, bro, they shut up my house. <laughs> um, like, bro, what do you expect, dude? It wasn't <laughs> creating an alliance oh under the name KTA or Kill Them All with one enemy in common: Young and Ace and ATK. The trends in Jacksonville at the time were not good. It was like, marking an increase in the murder rate year on year. In 2017, Ace would drop the song Go To War. This was an open invitation to anyone opposing ATK to retaliate. Not long after, Ace's home was shot up. But the but, tipping like, they point all was live soon near each other. That's the crazy part. A few months later, one of Ace's friends was out on a mission, looking to avenge a robbery that had happened to him. He knew exactly where the robber was on the west side of Jacksonville at Fulio's cousin's house. So he snuck Damn. into the house, throwing a brick through the sliding door, entering from the back where he began shooting. No mask, no gloves. He couldn't get who robbed him, and instead he ended up killing Fulio's cousin, Zion, and wounding a nine-year-old girl. If this was the start of a war, Zion's death was the catalyst. Not long after, Zion's sister was shot 14 times in an attempt to prevent her from Fourteen times. <sighs> Shit, bro. Fuck. Oh.
forget who robbed him, and instead he ended up killing Fulio's cousin, Zion, and wounding a nine-year-old girl. If this was the start of a war, Zion's death was the catalyst. Not long after, Zion's sister was shot 14 times in an attempt to prevent her from going to trial and testifying. She miraculously survived, and young Anais's friend who did the shooting was sentenced to life. But things- Bro, what? How the fuck did she survive? Bro, she got she got shot 14 times and she survived? That's crazy. Bro. She should be flexing on 50. 50 is like I got shot nine times. This bitch got shot 14 times and still survived? Shit after Zion's sister was shot 14 times in an attempt to prevent her from going to trial and testifying. She miraculously survived and young Anais's friend who did the shooting was sentenced to life. But things were just getting started. Fulio's cousin being the first death in the beef meant KTA were looking to get revenge swiftly. They needed to make an example. Ace's music was starting to pick up steam. His new song F That was getting millions of views on Worldstar in mere days. Fans were already comparing him to Youngboy. And a week later, this happened. Four young men were in this car when they were shot. The vehicle pulled up to their Chevy sedan, opened fire, then took off. And one is in critical condition at the hospital. Keontae Bullard, the only survivor of the quadruple shooting. It's a Tuesday in June of 2018. Ace, his brother, and two friends were going to Wasabi, a Japanese steakhouse, for Ace's friend's 18th birthday. Everyone was in good spirits, taking photos. It was a celebration. But little did they know, the whole time, they were under surveillance. Rivals had found out their location because of Ace's Instagram story, taking photo- Am I nuts for saying why is- Like, okay, they know they're in beef with people, right? Why would you be showing your location like that? Am I nuts for thinking that, or- Am I nuts for thinking that, or am I wrong? Like, why are they showing their location like this if they're in beef? Like, what, what, like, oh, I don't know, man. Like, what do you expect? Like, me, bro, I'm not showing, I don't even show my location and I have no beef with anyone. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I just think that's wild. I think that's crazy that they just show their location like that outside the steakhouse. Ace even recorded his friends eating inside the restaurant and posted that too. So their enemies waited outside, watching them eat, then followed them leaving the restaurant, driving along the highway. When they got to a red light, the shooters opened fire on the passenger side of Ace's car, killing his two best friends and his brother, leaving Ace in critical condition. It was a quadruple shooting, and Fulio got the news before anyone else did, except he thought Ace was dead. <laughs> Them boy lost the Fortnite match. <laughs> Till coming up, man. Cold summer alert, man. Two, three pack, man. Ace pack, this. Of course, Ace survived, but he lost everything. His brother and his two best friends. The attention, however, was helping grow his career. NBA Youngboy would FaceTime him to record a song, and it also motivated Ace to make his biggest record ever called Pain, which went viral and as we speak, has 50 million views on YouTube. But the blood spilling was not over. Every time Ace would drop a song, his- Yeah, talking, he did, Fulia did say Fortnite. Rival YNR Mookie would use the same song titles to make a diss track. The Jacksonville police even created a whole new department called the Violence Reduction Strategy Team, whose whole job was to basically comb through music videos from both camps looking for clues. The assistant chief even said in an interview, I don't think their primary goal is to entertain, but they- Looking for clues? Bro, they're saying it in their music. The fuck? What do you mean looking for clues? Bro, what? Oh my god. They're, they're admitting it. <laughs> Bro, they're admitting that they're doing this in their music. Jesus Christ, bro. Both camps looking for clues. The assistant chief even said in an interview, I don't think the primary goal is to entertain, but they are making real rap music. And at the top of the next year, in February 2019, 
Fulio's little brother Bibi was the next target for assassination. Here we go. Now Bibi we was learn just what 16 at the Bibi. time and he was coming home from school one day. Bro, 16? Well, even what's his name? Sister. She was 14, right? So. Fuck, bro, but so young? Fuck, man. That's. That's sad. It's just sad, bro. Day in his own neighborhood on the north side of Jacksonville at the Hilltop Apartments. He was sitting on a gazebo in the courtyard of his complex with a friend. The two were looking at their phones when all of a sudden, yeah, pounding gunfire erupted. Bibby and his friend dropped the phone and jumped. Both started running in different directions, frantically looking for cover. A total of True, 60 Alex, rounds you got a were point. shot in under 15 seconds. Bibby was killed instantly. A year later, when the court documents were unsealed, the police named Queso as the gunman responsible for Bibi's murder, saying that they drove for hours, circling the complex, parking, waiting, until finally springing out and unleashing Draco rounds in Bibi's though? direction. God and damn. Queso allegedly walked up to Bibi, who was on the ground, shielding himself from the gunfire, and executed him at close range. Before. Did you just hear what he said? Did you just hear what he said? That wasn't good enough. He went to his face and and shot him. He went to his face and went, yeah, bang. That's like mercenary type shit, bro. This shit's bigger than just music. Circling the complex, parking, waiting, until finally springing out and unleashing Draco rounds in Bibi's direction. Then Queso allegedly... I feel like Tarkin, it's the fact that how many people have been lost, you know what I mean? Like how many, I think they just get used to it. Like once you become that demon, you're never the same, bro. Once you take that first life, you're never the same. He walked up to Bibi, who was on the ground, shielding himself from the gunfire and executed him at close range before fleeing the apartment complex in a gray Nissan. The court documents also mentioned Queso's affinity for wearing Bibby jerseys and posting it to his IG page in celebration. Queso's bond is currently set at $4 million. For Fulio losing that's... his brother and his cousin in a- Am I crazy for saying that's all? His bond is only 4 million bucks? Am I crazy for saying that there shouldn't be a bond? Queso's bond is currently set at $4 million. For Fulio, losing his brother and his cousin in a short period of time was devastating. But 2019 was also the year his music was going to the next level. A million views back to back to Damn. back consistently. And he was doing it all independent. Fulio was a big deal in Florida, but not quite big enough to be touring the country on his own. Unlike his rival Young and Ace, who was booking shows in multiple states. Just a month after Fulio's brother died, Ace was performing at a nightclub in Waycross, Georgia. Him and his crew went back to the hotel to relax by the pool Here we when go. they were suddenly ambushed. An SUV pulled up and a group of guys hopped out shooting. Queso was there and didn't hesitate for one second to shoot back. One of Queso's boys, Rallo, died at the pool in that shootout. Only Ace's side got arrested for shooting back. The other gunmen wow. were never found by police. Queso wow. would say the quiet part out loud in his song Been Dead, where the lyrics go, Should have killed me in Waycross, they hopped out with the K's. Me and Scotty bussin' back, we were on the same page. That's the same music video where he puts his cousin Lil Nine in the microwave. A month after dropping this song, Queso was arrested for a whole different murder alongside his father, who Damn. was charged with accessory after Damn. the crime. Allegedly, they were getting revenge on a rival rapper named KTA Lil Buck who dissed Queso's older brother that died in a van full of Queso's relatives when two cars rolled up, blocking them off and put a hundred bullets inside the car. Lil Buck was Fulio's close friend and a high-priced target that ATK got the drop on. Allegedly, rolling- That's what I was thinking, because his name was KTA, Kill Them All, so I would assume him and Fulio would have been close or would have known each other. ...up at 11 in the morning while he was applying for a job to assassinate him. Queso posted to his Insta story right after, saying, I kill a dude, then get my toes done. Receiving a pedicure with the caption, 
kill a N-word, then go get my toes done. This wasn't the first hit done outside a job site. Another rapper, Jump Out, who beefed with Young and Ace and ATK, was killed while waiting in line to apply for a job at an Amazon warehouse. Leading to the infamous line on Who I Smoke, where they say, found out where he was working and clocked him out. Yeah, I was saying that. I was saying that when I was reacting to Who, who I Smoke, that that's a bar. And I was like, what the fuck? That's a fucked up Who bar. I Smoke, where they say, found out where he was working and clocked him out. The war had escalated to a point where, no matter where they were, no matter who it was, one side was shooting at the other, and the other would shoot back. We can count a dozen of Fulio's friends who are locked up, and YNR Mookie, and- Yo, what's crazy about this, right? Like, everyone's talking about- It's like, I don't know if any of y'all have seen 6 Nine's interview. 6 Nine did an interview with someone, and he was talking about the people that killed King Von. And he was saying if Little Dirk and all those boys were that real, wouldn't they have responded by now? Like, wouldn't they have killed the person that killed King Von? So that's a very interesting, that's a very interesting thing to say. I'm just saying. Slugger T are behind bars too. Even Fulio's girlfriend got shot in the head. Yeah, I thought I was dead. Hey, Dang, yo! Dead. She got shot in the... Bruh, God or whatever be protecting her. Huh? Got shot in the head and survived? Yeah, I thought I was dead. Yeah, I ain't underscored this yet, boy. And to this day, Young and Ace still has a bullet casing in his butt from the quadruple shooting outside the Wasabi Steakhouse. That's it for this video. Let me know what you want me to cover in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one. That's fucking that's fucking crazy, bro. Alright. Um, what do I have to say about this? Yo. That's a crazy... That's a crazy beef. I think this, in my honest opinion, might be the craziest beef in hip-hop of all time. But I don't really have much to say. I just think it's fucked. Like, yeah, here, dudes are really dissing their own dead co cousins. Like, that's wild. That's wild. I heard a fucked up bar from Little Dirk once. He said he'll still be alive if boys didn't gas him up. Christ. Um, but yeah, bro. Dude said we look alike to his cousin before killing him. Putting his picture in a micro Mother of God. That's crazy. To this day. Yeah, I found I found this part to be weird where he's like, to this day, Young and A still has a bullet casing in his butt. It's like, yo, <laughs> like why wasn't that brought up before? Like why did he bring that up now? Um Yeah, see this is what I read this this line and that's what made me get into this right man i grew up listening to gangster rap and this makes tupac and biggie beef seem like a disney cartoon like what's crazy though these guys are kids these guys are kids bro they're not even like and bro that comment's fucked up because i hope these kids somehow find a way to squash this and do a collab before it's too late. Motherfucker, it is already too late. What do you mean before it's too late? Right? Too, it's past late. It's past. It's overdue, bro. <laughs> like, it's gone, cuz. 